what's happening is the, the, the devil is planning to kill one of you. It's either you die or the baby dies. Mm, it's like last time they say you might have an operation. That's what I'm saying. It's either you lose your life or the baby lose your life. So I want to, that's why I said to you in the, in, the, in the beginning, I want to pray for you so that you can deliver safely. Okay. Not through an operation. So that we cancel these complications. All right. Yeah. I understand you have a lot of problems, but this, your life right now, it's a priority. All right. I'm praying for you, for you to deliver the baby safely. You are going to deliver nicely and naturally with no operation. Are you hearing me? Amen. Are you hearing me, Mama? Amen. Don't worry about anything else. God will give you a job. You'll be able to take care of this baby. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. So stop crying because I can see you crying. Stop crying. Are you hearing me? Yes. When you leave here, everything, everything will be solved. But right now, I want to pray for you so that baby can get home safely. Amen. None of you lose your life. Amen. Yeah? Amen. And as I'm praying with you, you see these pains that you have at your back from time to time? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We are also praying for them to stop. For you also to stop having nightmares. 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 Amen. Hmm? It's true. It's not good for a pregnant woman to be having nightmares. It's an attack. This, it's this attack I'm talking about that they want to kill one of you. That's why you always have nightmares, nightmares, nightmares. Okay. Can I pray with you now, my darling? Yeah, I can pray for me. 